Hello there. Welcome to another video of Solution Bringers which contains few more pathogenic bacteria that we did not see in our first video. In this video, we'll be talking about some pathogenic bacteria whose name starts with E, F, H, K, L, M, and N. Starting with Enterococcus faecalis. This spherical shaped species can be found in gut and intestinal pathway. Exposure to this bacteria can cause endocarditis and they are also responsible for urinary tract infection. In the next page we will be seeing how endocarditis occur. So endocarditis is a pain due to the infection inside the heart wall and about urinary tract infection it's it's an infection into the tract where the urine passes from the kidney to the bladder Escherichia coli they are the most abundant type of bacteria we can easily find them inside the intestinal tract and can be transmitted from person to person with direct physical contact Escherichia coli can cause several diseases such as diarrhea, urinary tract infection, pneumonia which is water in lungs and meningitis which is a pain inside the skull due to gap in the meninges. And here are the symptoms of meningitis such as fever, neck pain, sleepiness, vomiting, joint pains etc. The next one is Francisella tularensis. They are spreaded by arthropods such as insects and crustaceans. They are also spreaded by animals, birds and even house pets. Francisella tularensis is the causative agent of tularemia and sometimes they also result in pneumonia. Tularemia can be commonly seen in rabbits and rodents. Tularemia causes ulceration in the skin just like the one we are seeing in the picture. Haemophilus influenzae. This rod-shaped species can be transmitted from the droplet infection of another exposed patient. Haemophilus influenzae causes meningitis respiratory tract infection, bronchitis, and arthritis in kids. We can see the wall of the bronchus of a patient thicken resulting inflammation and pain. And in the picture at the bottom we can see the infant has an abnormal growth of limb due to septic arthritis. Helicobacter pylori sounds like helicopter. They can be found in the stomach of patients of ulcer. They are transmitted from person to person due to poor sanitization. Helicobacter pylori causes peptic ulcer, chronic gastritis and can even cause basal lymphoma. Both ulcer and gastritis are immensely painful condition and cancer such as lymphoma, we all know how little it is. Beware of this species, rely on good sanitization. Klebsiella pneumoniae They are found around the oral area, skin flora and gut flora. Klebsiella pneumoniae can cause pneumonia with significant necrosis and hemoptysis. Necrosis of pneumonia is the death of lung tissue and hemoptysis is the coughing up blood from any part of the rest respiratory system. Legionella pneumophila. These rod shaped species are transmitted by droplets of patients, water contamination as well as air conditioners too. Legionella pneumophila can cause these two rare diseases known as Legionnaire's disease and Pontiac fever. Legionnaire's disease is a serious type of pneumonia or we can also say lung infection. 
Pontiac fever is a non-fatal fever and respiratory condition. You can read everything. It is given in the details. Listeria monocytogens. This villain looking bacteria can be found in raw milk or cheese, ground meats and poultry. They are also found in newborn babies or fetus. Listeria monocytogens causes listeriosis and meningitis. Primary symptoms are pain in the brain and if not treated in time can result in painful death. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. These species are transmitted through droplet infection. This bacteria is actually famous due to a pandemic situation in rural areas of almost the whole world. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the causative agent of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis causes blood containing sputum along with chronic cough, fever, night sweats and weight loss. The next one is Mycobacterium leprae. This one is transmitted directly with physical contact from person to person. Mycobacterium leprae causes leprosis, which is also known as Hansen's disease. Leprosy is a very disturbing type of disease in which granulomas become visible in the skin, nerves, respiratory tract and eyes as we can see in the picture. Well, this is a very important one. Neisseria gonorrhea. This bacteria is transmitted during sexual intercourse. Neisseria gonorrhea causes gonorrhea in both male and female, urethritis in male, pelvic inflammatory disease in women, and neonatal conjunctivitis in eyes, which is the white discharge of dirt from eyes of newborn babies. In the picture, the symptoms of gonorrhea is discussed in detail. Please do read if you are interested. The next one is Nigeria meningitis, which is a bacteria transmitted through droplet infection. This species is responsible for meningococcal disease such as meningitis and a very rare disease known as waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome. waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome is a condition where the blood vessels of the adrenal gland breaks down and stops producing the hormones that the gland was supposed to. And the last one here is Nocardia asteroides. These sphere-shaped bacteria are found mainly in soil. Nocardia asteroides causes nocardiosis, which is pneumonia, endocarditis, and lymphocutaneous infection. Pneumonia and endocarditis, well, we already read both of them. Lymphocutaneous infection is a condition where the affected part of the skin hardens, causing wound and pain. That's all guys, we have come to the end of another video but still there are some pathogenic bacteria yet to be discussed. We will get to see them very soon. Thanks for listening and learning about pathogenic bacteria. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for knowing more and keeping yourself safe.